Yo guys, once in here, back playing Hitman 2 episode 5 or 4 I think, I don't know, but um, yeah, we're in Mumbai chasing a ghost and we're gonna go ahead, we've got one, two, technically three targets, we're gonna watch the briefing, so yeah, let's do it, unless you wanna skip ahead to the actual mission, we're gonna watch this. Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China Sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Carle slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown. But we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shah, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Alright, boom, so we've got three targets. One, we don't have a freaking clue what it looks like, and the other two... Um, this is going to be a long recording, so I'll literally just cut to when I'll actually do stuff. Because uh, I've done a dry run of it, because I couldn't really remember what you do in Mumbai. But uh, yeah, it took me like 45 minutes. Yeah, it was crazy. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Free targets, Mumbai. Let's go. Alright, we're in Mumbai, and we're going to go ahead and go for the Maelstrom first. I'm pretty sure we can um, like find out who he is, and then you can get him in like a barber shop or something. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and do that method. You could also investigate the barber shop and see what is going on there. All right, so we've got across the skies, as you heard Diana just say, we can need to investigate the barber shop, which will basically allow us to find the maelstrom. So yeah, let's do it. Forty-seven. Woohoo! That can only oh, this guy's got a massive beard. <laughs> Identification confirmed. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get the barber's disguise. So we can disguise ourselves as this dude. Maelstrom's gonna come in for our haircut and we're gonna just absolutely obliterate him. So yeah, you'll see that in just a second. Well, it looks like we have a good customer outside. What's up, bro? Look at that beard, man. That's not even right. And his hair. That's just crazy. Well, either way, the maelstrom is coming into my barber shop. I like how the key's there, but I picked up the door. Right, Idiot. <laughs> make it a close one. Oh, I'll make it a close one. Don't you worry. The tides are changing, my friend. Get yeah! And that is him done. The infamous Maelstrom is, is dead. dead. Very. All right, on to the next, and we've got to disguise ourselves as the tailor. As we're gonna make a dress, I think, for that lassie, um, and then basically just kill her, just strangle her. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Alright, boom, we are the tailor now. <laughs> Look at how are my glasses even sitting on my head? But either way, we're the tailor and we need to go get a Sumerian dress. Alright, boom, we've got it. Alright, arrange an audience with Vanya Shah. Alright, let's do it. Alright, we're just waiting our turn until we get 
our little audience with this person. I want to make sure the color is right. Yes, of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shaw will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. Yeah, woo! The final execution, up to you. Aha, <laughs> final execution. Mama. Oh, yeah! Now, normally, I would just wait a little second, and then you, you know, you measure our hips and stuff, but this person does not leave this room for me. I don't know why. But, yeah, another target down, grottled, wired, or strangled with the measuring tape. That's how it's done. Now we got to eliminate Dawood Darangan, or whatever the fuck his name is. Ah, you made it out alive. I was getting ready to dispose of another dead body. Ah, uh, well, just don't, do not look in the uh, little cupboard thing, or whatever, because, yeah, there's one in there. <laughs> and our friend is knocked out. Yeah, on to the next. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You might be a little bit confused why I've just skipped here, but basically I went through like about 30 minutes of getting a disguise to get in. As you can see, the little save there, I was still the little tailor guy getting a disguise. I got that guy's disguise in the bottom left to get that person's disguise, and now I'm here. Um, I killed the final target, escaped, watched the cutscene, it was amazing, it was great, and yeah, I forgot to press record. Because I went to end recording and it said start recording. So, yeah, I'm literally just going to load this save right now. And it's going to basically be me about to kill the final target. Um, which is basically just, it's me just skipping pretty much 20 minutes of getting a disguise. But yeah, there was some context to it of getting in. But I suppose might as well just skip right to me actually doing the target. Oh my god, it was so stupid. Went to press record and it was already, it, it just, I mean, end recording and it said start recording. Outrageous. But yeah, here we go. Alright, we've got a screwdriver, we're going to tamper with this thing. And uh, this woman needs a script, which, yeah, um, I actually got. And there was a little eventful thing that happened. Like, it's on like a ledge and you've got to hit it with something. I hit it and it was just balancing there still, like half off, and it was really funny. But you guys will never see that because, yeah, it just didn't happen. But yeah, we've tampered with this so we can um, put the power up uh, when we actually start the fan, which is here. We operate it and he goes flying off that building. And it's pretty glorious. So yeah, we'll just skip to that. Alright, here he is. Ready for the last shot, as you can tell, he's just saying, yeah, are you ready, etc. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and operate our little fan. Start the fan, yeah, let's do it. You know, I know, after looking at this for so long, I never noticed, but if you look at your right, yeah, the literally, it's like, that's how you see the movie. And I was like, because I seen it, and I was like, what the hell is that in the corner? But yeah. If you just look over there, it's it's happening in both things. Something easy to miss, <laughs> but uh, yeah. The witch rests in hell now, along with her assassin. Her magic was powerful, but it's gone now. It's just you and me now. Oh, oh, she's getting cold feet. But yeah, if, whatever you do, don't increase the power whilst they're both there because they both go flying off. <laughs> I did that once and it just it wasn't good. But uh, yeah, you can increase the power right now. And if you look at the bottom left, um, just after he actually, you know, goes flying off, so they're... Bye-bye. <laughs> um, I didn't get Silent Assassin because when I was trying to get a disguise, one of the bodies was discovered in like the dumbest way uh, so yeah I didn't get Silent Assassin on this one unfortunately but either way at least yeah I'm looking at the rec it's recording right now so that's good I actually could not believe that it wasn't recording this entire time uh, but to be fair you know I got all of that uh, excess footage out 
But yeah, the cutscene after this, which I'll just obviously skip to in a second once I actually exit, um, yeah, it's very good and very informative to the story. So uh, yeah. All right, we're out of here and wait for this cutscene because it's very important. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs are almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Uh, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact. You and I. Do this, and we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? to take them all down. Boom, there we go. Mo one of the most important parts of the Hitman story ever, really. Um, people who don't pay attention to the story is, is beyond me, because I know I've watched so many YouTubers where they go, yeah, I don't even know what happens in the story. It's like, mate, that's the fucking game, man. Who, like I don't care about them like the maps and stuff are good but yeah the story is most important because they've actually put like hip like for agent 47's background and stuff in it so yeah make sure you pay attention to the story because it's vital but yeah guys if you enjoyed this please make sure you leave a like subscribe never miss future ones comment something down below I'll see and reply to them and uh, yeah I'll catch you next time on another video peace